Massive news today as Nvidia decides to offer a selection of mining GPUs specifically for the miner in the hopes that it's going to improve supply for the other RTX GPUs. Now to convince the miners to actually jump ship and buy these new mining GPUs they decided to nerf the RTX 3060 and reduce the hash rate by 50%. So there's a lot to talk about here and uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over the news uh, articles first and then I'll come back to discuss and I've got some questions prepared already and I'll try and provide some answers to uh, this so hopefully it adds a little bit more clarity to the whole situation. Now I would say that um, there's so much to discuss here I'm not going to cover everything so make sure to comment down below if uh, you want to keep the conversation going and I'll be right there as always uh, talking to you guys in the comments. But let's get to the news first and we have a tweet here from copy 7 Kimmy. This was on 28th of January 2021 so two or three weeks uh, before all of this happened and he said Jensen will start a battle against mining and really nobody really picked up on this tweet. Um, I didn't really hear anybody else talk about this but uh, at the time I said uh, on Twitter uh, will he how he's had He'd have to fundamentally alter the design of GPUs. If he puts a driver or a hardware lock on, I'm sure the miners will find a way around it. He could have fought off the miners ages ago and never did. And he lets AIB sell them straight to miners. So this is a news announcement right here. It says NVIDIA announces crypto mining processor HX series. And you can check the specifications of the cars right here. They've got a 30HX, 40HX, 50HX and 90HX. And basically the number refers to the hash rate of the card. Now if you look a little bit closer at these specifications, these look like more um, Turing cards and also an Ampere card for the 90HX. So the 30HX and 40HX, they look like old Turing cards. The 30HX looks like a 1660 Super. The 40HX looks like a 2070. And the 90HX looks like a 3080 card and perhaps the 50HX is just that uh, wouldn't be able to meet a 90HX but they could make a 50HX out of it. Now the article goes on to talk about the RTX 3060 driver and how that's going to limit mining performance. It says Nvidia also announced that the upcoming GeForce RTX 3060 will have a special driver that will automatically detect mining specific algorithms which will limit the hash rate by 50%. This would ensure that the RTX 3060 would be useful to gamers not miners. And they also put out a press release which I'm not going to read all of it because it's just all PR mumbo jumbo. But they also talk a little bit about why they're halving the hash rate and uh, also where they got these uh, GPUs from and it says here they don't meet the specifications required of a GeForce GPU and thus don't impact the availability of GeForce GPUs to gamers. So I think Cortex here sums everything up really nicely. He says, Jensen, how can we continue selling to miners with record profits yet pretend we care about gamers and on top of that get rid of defective dies, answer 90HX, 50HX, 40HX, 30HX, countdown to clueless media giving Nvidia brownie points for fighting miners. Rogue Games says that uh, the 30HX is a 1660 Super and that the 40HX is a 2070 FE. Now Harukaze, he says, uh, from person who claim RTX 3060 early adopter says, RTX 3060 hash is 25 mega hash per second, even with memory overclock. This mining performance limit is not from driver limit, but BIOS. I can't do even ROM flashing. So I've prepared some questions here to hopefully stay on topic and not seem like I'm rambling everywhere. But the first question here is what are Nvidia's motivations behind these new crypto cards and halving the hash rate of the RTX 3060. So obviously Nvidia want to sell the miners these mining cards and they want to leave these gaming cards for the gamers because uh, they've got a whole bunch of these dead uh, GPUs lying around that they can't sell to anyone. So they want to sell those miners those ones. Um, but the problem is where they're halving the hash rate of the 3060 or nerfing the RTX 3060 because I think a lot of these big mining companies they'll probably be able to get around them with driver fixes and that sort of thing. So I think uh, just by halving the hash rate probably only hurts the little guy, hurts the gamer who also wants to mine on the side. So I think uh, that's the lazy way to I guess us uh, solve the situation or micromanage the situation. Effectively what's going on is that Nvidia wants to have uh, both the gaming and the mining audience at the same time 
but uh, they want to uh, increase the supply, which is what's going on here. And what's the, the biggest problem for me here is that uh, they didn't actually tackle the underlying issue. The issue isn't miners, even though in their press release it feels like uh, that's what they're saying. They're saying they're gamers first. Uh, the problem isn't miners or that the cards can do mining. The problem is that there's unequal distribution of these cards. And if these cards, um, these cards are bought uh, in the hundreds and hundreds by miners and very few are going to gamers. So this wouldn't actually be an issue if gamers had a card and miners had lots and lots of cards. This is only an issue because miners have lots of cards and gamers don't have a card. So that's the problem that I have is that uh, Nvidia should be looking at themselves first and talk about like what's going on here because Nvidia are the ones actually selling directly to miners. They're selling to large businesses who are just doing mining at a huge scale. Uh, the AIB partners also are selling to these miners at a huge scale as well. And even at a lower level, uh, the retailers are probably selling to hundreds and uh, hundreds of these cards to miners as well and not enough are going to gamers so something needs to be done about that issue instead um, but just nerfing this 3060 seems like it's only going to hurt the little guy because now it's actually more expensive to buy a 3060 because it's going to take you a lot longer to make your money back if you were going to mine with it on the side Okay, question two, why didn't Nvidia cut the hash rate across all of their cards? Again, if we look at this from a supply and demand perspective and a financial perspective, it's pretty clear what would happen if they actually cut the hash rate on all of their supply. And it's not something that I would expect Nvidia to do because that would pretty much kill all of their demand. And uh, Nvidia want to keep their prices of their GPUs high, but they just want to solve the supply issue so that they stop uh, all of these miners from getting the gamers, gamers cards and gamers uh, leaving PC gaming. Uh, and uh, they want gamers to get a card. But they also want to continue making money from miners because uh, they make more money that way because money miners drive the price of these GPUs up and also inflate the price of these GPUs. So in the end, Nvidia make lots of money. They have endless demand and uh, they get to sell you a card without even having to try very hard to sell a card. So I think uh, if they were to cut the hash rate across all of their cards, the value of their GPUs out there would drop which means retailers and distributors buy less of these cards and at lower prices. Miners start swapping over to AMD potentially in case Nvidia completely neuters the hash rate altogether. And supply actually increases in the secondary market because now uh, people are just um, selling their cards because they want to swap over to AMD. And Nvidia in turn, because there's such a large supply of these uh, Ampere GPUs on the market, they would also start to struggle to sell to their distributors and retailers who aren't interested in buying these cards at higher prices. So that would also hand more sales to AMD as well. So technically, if Nvidia were doing it for the good of gamers, i.e. cut the hash rate um, on all of their cards, uh, that would also be shooting themselves in the foot. Okay, question three, will Nvidia bring out new 30 series cards that also reduce the hash rate? So I don't think we have long to wait to find this out because the 3080 Ti is gonna be coming out in about a month's time and we'll see how Nvidia wants to play this. Personally speaking, I don't think they're going to nerf the 3080 Ti, although now that they have done it with the 3060, it is possible. I won't say that it's going, no, they're not gonna do it completely, but I will say that it is possible that they just make a, spe a specific 3080 Ti card that is gaming only, that will have no mining capability, but uh, I think that's a low possibility because uh, if you think about it this way, if the 3080 Ti came out at zero mega hash per second and it was $1,000 and it was available, it would still sell, but it would sell much better if uh, it had a high hash rate. So would you buy a 3080 Ti for $1,000 with no uh, hash rate or would you buy a 3070 with a hash rate of 60 mega hashes per second, but it can also uh, play games. And I think that's a really interesting choice. And I think uh, a lot of people might consider buying that 3070 instead.
Now the thing is, Nvidia don't really care how expensive these cards get because uh, once you've opened your wallet, well, then you're effectively saying that you're saying that this card is worth fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars or whatever it is. So. Uh, it's actually their job for them to go and increase the value on this and increase demand. Now, uh, nowhere in the PR statement did they say they were actually concerned with any of these prices. So if you look at the Steam survey, it's actually pretty interesting because the ownership of the 3080 is actually pretty high. Uh, despite all of this talk that uh, nobody has a Ampere card, um, sure, there's a lot of people who don't have it uh, because the demand out there is really high. But a lot of people do have a 3080. And so uh, if you take a look at all of the stats, uh, the 3080 is actually looking to overtake the 2080 and the 2080 Super pretty soon, even despite these high prices. So for Nvidia, there's really no way for Nvidia to cut out all of the middlemen between uh, Nvidia and you as the gamer. So they're not gonna be bo uh, bothered about that. And all they really care about is that uh, you getting the card in the end. Now with the 60 class GPUs, um, that might be something that they want to protect because as you can see here, the ownership rate of the previous 60 class are very high. So the 1060 and the 2060, both are about 10% and I think 9% respectively um, for ownership rates. So maybe perhaps they felt that was an audience that they needed to protect. So I guess uh, what they're trying to do there is uh, they telling miners to stay away from that audience. Okay, so just to summarize, I think this is pretty much a supply management issue for NVIDIA and now they see the profits available in crypto mining and all the cars that are being sold to crypto miners. They want a piece of the pie too. They want a bit of the action. So uh, this is pretty much what it is and they get to sell off all of their defective GPUs. But what's really concerning is how they nerfed the RTX 3060 and uh, if they can do that to the 3060, they could potentially do that to all of the other cards. I don't think they will because that would be actually shooting themselves in the foot, but uh, there's potential for them to do that. And if they did that, I think that sets a really dangerous precedent um, because then they could just do anything that they wanted to uh, just by driver update. If they're not happy with uh, how you're using the card or uh, the way you're using your car for something else, uh, they're just gonna stop that via a driver. And I think uh, people sh who are cheering this on, uh, cheering that uh, they're getting the hash rate uh, neutered by half, well, think about what NVIDIA really could do uh, if they wanted to do other things. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to uh, hit the like button and also to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.